Welcome everyone to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and we have a great show for you today. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. I want you to see this. Now, you know, I don't know. At first, I wasn't real thrilled with the painted poppies. Everybody was making cards with painted poppies and, uh, and I saw them and they were beautiful. But my sister and I started crafting with these painted poppies and oh my goodness, we love the cards that we came up with. So I'm gonna show you that. And we also used this. Do you have this Artisan Textures? This, I'm gonna show you what it does and it just blended the card perfectly. And then of course we have our dies. Now, you know that I said in Facebook we are going to be working with Mother's Day. So here's the lovely card that we made. And it is just a stamp. We stamped the painted poppies and then we used that texture stamp. Is that not cute? Oh my goodness. And then we stamped on the inside. And you know, this is one of those stamps that you can just, that's, just stamp on it to give you the color. It's supposed to look like watercolor. I am so impressed that a simple card like this can turn out so pretty. But you know what? Before we get started, we always like to start with the saying. I have two sayings for you today because we are honoring our mothers. And we were fortunate enough to have just an, a wonderful mother. And so, here's one. And it says, thank you, mother, for being my everything. Friend, cook, nurse, chauffeur, housekeeper, alarm clock, stylist. You name it, mothers do it, right? And we are so happy to be honoring them today with the Mother's Day card. And we have one more. Mothers hold their child's hand for a moment and their heart for a lifetime. Isn't that true? We never forget our mothers. We love them. So in honor of them today, we're going to get busy and we are going to make a beautiful card. So we decided to pick Paper Pumpkin because we are blending our painted poppies. So we have our two mats cut, one for the outside, one for the inside, and we're going to go ahead and get those laid down. I like to use Kalel, I've said that before, because I just really like the way you can move it around until you get it exactly where you want it. And you don't have to put much on there. And you know what I love? And you know what? That got some glue on it. You know what I love about crafting, paper crafting? Is you take this blank slate and you're like, okay, well, that's not very pretty, right? And you watch it grow before your eyes. Don't you like that? Or you'll just be crafting and you'll just, it just blossoms before you know it. You've created this, what you feel is a masterpiece. And then you can give it to someone you love, give it to your friends, and bring a smile to their face. That's what's so wonderful about card making, right? I love to make cards. So we have our mats put down. Now, here's our painted poppy. We're gonna put this over to the side just a little bit, and we are going to get out our memento. And we are going to just stamp it down I'm going to ink it up and just kind of wiggle it a little bit. See how we go. Oh, that's a good stamp. Yes. Ink it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do two. And then I'm also going to do the little one. I'm going to put him up here. But you know what? I'm going to do one more of the big one because I want you to see how you can use the a textured part, even though we're not going to do that. But I'm going to, I want to show you how to do that. Now you would take, say, pumpkin. You would take pumpkin or you would take a lighter color. You might take grapefruit grove. That would be a pretty color. But I'm going to go ahead and take uh, pumpkin pie. Don't you love these names? And I'm going to stamp it off once just so it's not too dark. And I'm going to just move this around until I feel like I have it. And I'm going to stamp it very lightly. Now remember, this is supposed to look like a watercolor, right? And it does. Isn't that pretty? But what we're going to do with ours is we're actually going to blend a little bit. 
And I am taking these colors, light and dark pumpkin pie. I am also taking this kind of a peachy color and it is dark petal pink. And then of course we're taking the mango melody. Yeah. So I like to start with the, um, I like to start with the dark color. So I'm just gonna get some shading going where I think it might need some shading. I'm gonna come in with the light pumpkin pie just to get rid of that line a little bit. See, I don't, I leave some white space because I wanna come back in with uh, the yellow. But I'm just going to try to soften that line just a little bit. And you know what, because these are alcohol markers, they will uh, soften up. And now I'm gonna come in with our Mango Melody, and I'm just going to go around, and I'm also gonna go over the dark color. It will soften it up a little bit. And it just makes the prettiest color, I think. You know, I'm really partial to yellows and oranges. Oh my goodness. Now, I've I can see that I need to shade that one little part right there. I'm just gonna go in with the dark, go in with the light to soften it up. And you know, shading is just subtle, right? It's just a very subtle process. So it's not like it's in your face. And just to brighten up that center part, I'm gonna go over. Now look at this. You have your shadows, you have your light. Oh, I just really like it. Now, we're gonna color this all the way, but we've already done that with the magic of the video, right? So let me bring in our flowers that we have already colored. And we went ahead and we cut out our leaves because remember, this is a stepped up version of the one that I showed you that is just a stamp, ink, and paper. So, we're just going to fit that on here, see exactly how we want it, because I want to come in and stamp my sentiment first. So if we put this here, and we put this about right there, okay, then we're gonna, and we're gonna set these up on dimensionals. So we're gonna put our leaves. So I know that about right here is where I'm going to have my saying, right? So I'm gonna come back in with my pumpkin pie and I'm going to stamp the happy. Oh, don't you love this font? Oh my goodness, look at this font. Is that not pretty? I love that font. Now we're also going to take Happy Mother's Day from that. And you know, a little tip. Lay something small like this down on grid paper, line it up where you have it exactly straight and then push your acrylic down. Because otherwise, if you try to line it up with your fingers, you're not gonna get it straight. I mean, maybe you're better than me, but I don't ever get it straight. So, we're gonna go ahead and put Mother's Day right here. And I'm just gonna hold it down because that is very skinny lettering. Keep our fingers crossed. There we have it. Look at that, isn't that cute? And I'm gonna use the textured one and I'm gonna stamp it just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that stamped. I'm gonna stamp off just to make, oh, yep. And I'm gonna stamp off here, just right there. Don't you love that? Oh my goodness, I just love that. Now I think we need to have just a little smattering so I'm gonna take some of it off and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Just very soft. Okay, now we're gonna have some leaves that cover that up, so we should be okay. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put just a little bit right here on the top. Just go over a little bit. And there we have it. I love this texture. So, I think we are ready to lay down our flowers, right? 
So remember we said, where did we want to lay them? I think we're gonna put this one over, and I don't think we're gonna have three big ones. I think we're gonna do this right here. And Mother's Day is just around the corner. This would be a perfect card. And if you don't have painted poppies, well, you can head over to creativemomentsbyg.com and pick it up, right? I think I'm gonna put that right there. And then about that, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put one right in the middle because remember, we're gonna stick those leaves and you've got to have some place to stick them, right? You don't want your dimensionals to get in the way. And remember, we have a really stepped up version to show you right at the end. So let's go ahead and get that one, just like that. Now we have all these beautiful leaves to put. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to use this. Do you have you ever used this? The Nuvo glue pen. I'm going to use that, and of course, I'm going to put down my uh, silicone mat so that I don't get anything on the paper. Now, this you just kind of punch, and it, the glue comes off. And I'm just going to paint, paint the glue on, and I'm going to leave that very top leaf. I'm going to leave it empty. I'm just going to slide. I'm not going to put any glue on it. Just gonna slide this right here, glue it down, just so that it's it's raised. Oh, I like that. Now, what's so nice about this, if you don't have it, if you get glue on it, it just balls up and you can just wipe it off. I love that. Now, let's see, we have this one, this skinny one. Ooh, I, oh, that's exactly where it needs to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on it. I love these glue pins. I just think they're so wonderful. It is a little messy, but so nice. I'm gonna glue that down. And like I said, don't you love it? It's starting to take shape. Oh my goodness. I just love creating cards. Oh, that one's pretty. We're gonna put it there. And I mean, this is such a pretty card. And the one that I'm gonna show you was done in the purples, the blackberry and the rich razzleberry. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love it. So we have some leaves. Now I still have two leaves. Okay, I'm gonna put it on dimensionals and I think we'll put that over that. Oh, look at that. What do you think? I don't think we need another leaf. I think we need to stamp the inside with our Have a Wonderful Day. Oh, yes. And I'm going to stamp that. I think I will stamp that in, I think I'm going to stamp it in the uh, garden green there and just hold it for good contact so that we get all the ink and all the image, right? And there we have it. Now, we colored an additional one, so I'm just going to put this right here, and let me see if I can cut this leaf off, and I could add, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just put one dimensional, because it won't hurt it to have a dimensional on the inside. And let's just go ahead, and you know what? I'm gonna put it right there, because I am going to snip off the additional just so that it doesn't go over. But I wanted it to go all the way to the end. Because look at that, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna close this because you know me, I get things all over myself. And I'm just gonna cut this about right here. And I'll put this one down. And you still have plenty of room to write your message. Now look at that. What do you think? Do you like this? We took painted poppies, oh my goodness, and it wasn't that hard to make. You just cut this out and put it through your little mini cutter, get it cut out, and there you have this beautiful, beautiful card to give to your mother. I want to show you what we did with the one that I showed you earlier. Here is this one. Now this one does is nothing but stamp, ink, and paper, right? 
We just stamped everything, but it's quite beautiful. And look at the envelope we made. We just did some more stamp ink and paper, but it turned out quite pretty. Now I want to show you the stepped up version. Look at this one. This light colored purple here is another die cut. See how we have all these die cuts? It's this one right here. And it allows you to give the two tone. That is our stepped up version. Do you have the painted poppies? I can just see you making this card and giving it to your mother. She will love it. Well, I hope you go out and have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, be creative in your crafting. Bye-bye.